Okay, in this video, we we'll learn how to construct a forward difference table using MATLAB. Uh, firstly, I'd like to show you how does a forward difference table look like, and uh, this is a forward difference table. Uh, in this table, I have some input values for the if values and some output values for the y values. Uh, the differences uh, just can be calculated by simply using a formula which is uh, subtracting the first value from the second value. Uh, that is, uh, for the first order difference for these two values, I just subtracted uh, y sub 0 from y sub 1 to get the first order difference. And uh, using this formula, uh, I can get the other differences. And the second order differences can be obtained using the same formula. Uh, a few things to notice in this table. Uh, I have n number of observations, and for this n number of observations, I have n minus 1 number of first order differences and n minus 2 number of second order differences. So, as the order increases, of, as the order of dif difference increases, uh, the number of differences decreases. And so, this can be, this logic can be used in my code to construct this table. Okay, let's go straight back to my code. Uh, I have uh, taken a manual input for if values and y values, and I have taken five uh, input values. Uh, I've just run this selection. Okay, uh, I just want to show you something. Uh, the input value, sorry, the uh, y values are taken as a row vector, but for a table, I must convert it to a uh, column vector uh, or a column matrix. Uh, so I have introduced uh, this for loop, uh, the number of row indices changes uh, 1 through 5 and the col number of column uh, stick, stick to 1 uh, just to make sure uh, that I can convert it to a column vector. Uh, I run this selection and type DIFF. Uh, so uh, you can just see that uh, my row vector has converted to a column vector. Okay, uh, this is the main portion of the code. Uh, this uh, I have just implemented the formula uh, to calculate the differences. Uh, I'd like to just uh, run this code first. Uh, and now I'll explain how does it work. Uh, for j is equal to uh, the for loop in this uh, nested for loop will run through 1 to n is equal 5, so 5 minus 2 plus 1 fourth time. Uh, this indicates that if I had uh, 5 uh, input values or 5 uh, output values, uh, whatever you say, uh, I would have 4 uh, first order difference. Uh, and uh, that is uh, uh, just printed as a second column of this matrix. Uh, okay, uh, so the how does the formula work? Uh, for uh, j is equal to, I have i equal uh, 1 through 4. Uh, when i is equal uh, 1 and j is equal 2, uh, I, uh, the formula will be d i f f 1, uh, 1 plus 1, that is 2, comma, uh, 2 minus 1, that is 1. Uh, so, 2 comma 1, uh, d i f f 2 comma 1 minus d i f f 1 comma 1. Uh, so if I uh, write d i f f 2 comma 1, uh, the value would be 2.404 and uh, d i f f 1 comma 1. This is uh, 2.87. And uh, just look at this uh, column, uh, column vector. Uh, this uh, is uh, y sub 1, this is y sub 0, and the difference between these two will be the first order difference, uh, uh, will be considered as a first order difference, and uh, so forth. We calculate the other just uh, changing these uh, indices. Uh, so, how uh, this is how the differences are calculated, and uh, I have just uh, implemented another for loop uh, just to show you. Uh, how to print the uh, table. Uh, I'd like to run this selection first. And uh, you can see that uh, the 
<coughs> first order differences are placed uh, in the second column, the say, uh, second order differences is placed in the third column, and so forth. Uh, for nth order difference, uh, I will get n minus 1 columns. So, this is how to construct a forward difference table uh, uh, using MATLAB. Uh, and if you have any questions, yeah, leave it in comment box or you can contact me uh, sending uh, emails. Uh, my email is given in the description. Uh, thank you for watching this video.